Friday's, Friday's warm-up will start with a two-minute easy row and then 30 seconds per movement. 30 seconds of Spider-Mans. Step the foot just outside the hands, sink the chest down, alternate sides. Then squat to stands. Stand with the feet shoulder width apart with the toes pointed out about 10 degrees. Hang on to the toes, sink the chest down, sorry, sink the hips down, keep the chest up, and then push the hips up to extension to stretch out the hamstrings. Then mountain climbers, back to your push-up position. Now we're quickly jumping our feet, elbows towards the knees. Then stand up and perform 30 seconds of air squats. Make sure we're trying to work on our range of motion, not just down, not just getting the hips below the knees, but also standing up all the way, squeeze the butt, open the hips at the top of each rep. Then we'll go to frog hops. Hands to the floor, jump your feet back into a plank, jump back up and stand. Then facing your box, we'll do box step ups. Try to stand all the way up using that single leg before placing the second foot on top of the box. And then finish with a set of 30 seconds of burpees. Chest to floor, thighs to floor, jump the feet up just behind the hands, and then jump and clap overhead. Grab a dumbbell for your mobility. Perform 45 seconds per side of a dumbbell ankle stretch. So set up in a narrow lunge position, place that dumbbell on the knee, and then you can use your body weight to drive that knee forward. We're working on our ankle flexion, try and be able to get that knee in front of the toe with the heel still on the floor. And then go into a one minute uh, dumbbell squat hold. Pick up that dumbbell to a goblet squat position. Keep the heels down on the ground and hang out for a minute at the bottom. You can use those elbows to drive the knees out. Let's try to stay active at the bottom. We're not uh, bottoming out where our midline gets compromised, but staying engaged at the bottom. Friday's workout is litter box. It is three rounds, three burpee box jumps. Have your hands in position so the head is not too far away from the box so you don't have too much distance to move. After you jump your feet up, small step, and up and onto the box. We are gonna stand up all the way on top of the box today. After your three reps, move back to a pair of dumbbells, six double dumbbell front squats. Clean those dumbbells to the shoulders, pass through a full squat, make sure you're breathing as you do this, find whatever grip on the dumbbells feels most comfortable for you. After your six reps, move over to your barbell and we'll perform lightweight deadlifts. We should be able to complete all nine unbroken for the duration of the workout. Keep the lower back straight. Don't let that barbell sink down. We wanna control the barbell both up and down on each rep. So you'll perform three rounds of that 369 triplet. Then you're gonna row 50 calories for men, 35 calories for the ladies. Pace out the first row because after that 50, 35, you're gonna perform another three rounds of the burpee box jumps, front squats, deadlifts, then another 50 or 35 calorie row, and then another three rounds oh of the gosh. burpee box jumps, front squats, deadlifts. Friday's home gym variation will be some faster paced sprint intervals. You'll have three minute AMRAP followed by one minute of rest for five rounds. Every three minutes you complete as many rounds as possible of six double dumbbell front squats, dumbbells rest on the shoulders, any grip. Want to pick a way where we can do those six reps without stopping. Then we'll go into nine double dumbbell deadlifts. We'll set up with a narrow stance with the feet. One head of the dumbbell is going to touch the floor at the bottom of each rep. Keep that back controlled. Don't let yourself round. Super important because the dumbbell range of motion is a little bit lower than a barbell deadlift. Finally, 12 lateral burpees over the dumbbells. Set them down one in front of the other. No requirement to stand up on top so you can stay crouched down closer to the floor as you're moving through these reps. Complete as many rounds as possible in three minutes. Rest a minute, repeat five times. Friday's accessory work is handstand walk practice. Five rounds, 15 or 12 calories on any machine or a 200 meter run, and then practice your handstand. You can pick whatever distance you can hit consistently. 50 feet, 25 feet. Okay. 
That was a warm up. Here's a good one. Okay, you need to make sure you're getting your heels in front of your hands. So the feet have to be in front of your body. That'll keep gravity moving you forward as long as you keep moving those hands. If you don't have handstand walks, you can spend this time practicing. You can kick up to the wall and just do a 30 to 60 second handstand hold against the wall. Or you can start lifting the hands one at a time, just a couple inches off the floor. That is asking a lot of me right now. Okay. Small hand lifts, or if you want to go advanced, big hand lifts, shoulder taps. Okay.